starting Salad Center uh, really stemmed from like a personal uh, inability, you know, to be able to show up in my fullest self, you know, with, with all of my identities intact in different spaces, you know. I give the example often of like, you know, being black and trans and queer and like a person who is um, a religious leader in the community. Accessibility is a key piece of my commitment to Salah Center. Those identities often cannot exist at the same time pretty much anywhere in society, you know, and so Salah Center really is the first place where I can be black and queer and, and a clergy person. This for me is like a full expression of, of my identities as well as my faith and inviting people to do the same, you know, even if, and especially if, you know, their faith is not the same as mine or their identities don't match mine. So, the word salus, that's a Latin word, which means wholeness and well-being. I definitely chose that word, you know, because it's really at the core of what I'm hoping to kind of cultivate here is like, people who can be all of who they are, you know, not have to partition themselves just to survive or exist in society. So a big part of what we do, you know, is like to be able to create a space for people to be who they are in their fullest, you know, so no matter what their identities, they can be here and just relax. Our mission is to be in the community to kind of help organizations maybe that aren't specifically LGBTQ focused, but to kind of help shift culture so that we don't have to diminish who we are just so we can show up in the world, you know. So we're really trying to make this a space that is for the community, by the community. And uh, so far that's been kind of happening in these last two years that we've been open. One of my favorite examples is, you know, the queer choir. You know, it was a group of folk who wanted to sing and like bring their voices together. And I, and I love, you know, even just like the vast identities of the people who show up, you know, around gender, sexuality, race as well, age, abilities. I think that's part of the beauty of this life that we have is the fact that we're not all the same. You know, and not to fear the fact that we're not the same, but really try to lean into how that actually is a strength that we're not the same. Embrace and celebrate the places where we are different, bringing about wholeness and freedom for all people. Really to try to do it in a way that, you know, we're able to decrease harm and increase accessibility for folks to find resources, like in the short term and in the long term. I often have to remind myself it's just been two years, you know, we've come a long way and community coming together and having a vast array of different kinds of support, you know, whether those are financial support or like support with time and energy, all of that is welcome. Really like kind of taking this image of, you know, it takes a village to raise a child, so I'm inviting the village, you know, to help tend to this two-year-old child of Salah Center and really trying to like grow it into an adolescence and adulthood. I think that would be a really great way to do that, you know, with this community here in Lansing. <laughs>